We're gonna have uh, pork liver or pork opal tureen, and then we're gonna have pate and crout, which I'm gonna do with hazelnuts and green peppercorns. And I might use those fresh green peppercorns and bake them in there. But the thing is, it's like, you know, what am I gonna serve with the tureen? You never just serve a tureen by itself because then it's just a slab of meat. So maybe we'll pickle some carrots, maybe we'll roast, you know, we got those really beautiful purple onions. Easton picked out some radishes he wanted for tomorrow. So maybe I'll serve radishes and mustard with, it, with this tureens. You know, every day is a change. Hey, Brian. Hey, Chris, how's it going? Good. Good, what are you looking for? I need some tree molds. Do you have the, the cast aluminum Le Creuset ones? Yeah. The old school? The cast iron right over here? Yeah, this, these are the ones. Um, can I get two? Yeah, have them Do you have stock. two in stock? Yeah. Okay, great, Absolutely. thank you. Oh, beautiful. Two in red? Great, so doing? they're both cast. cast yeah, well, they feel like they're lid. cast iron. Here, let's go take a peek All up right. front and we'll... Can you tell I'm really having fun? Did it move? I'm good to go. Let's get so, both. Beautiful, hopefully. You have more for others. Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Brad. No I'll see you soon. Man. Have Cheers. a good one. Thank you. Fresh peppercorn. Here we go. I got a bag. We're using the fresh peppercorns as a part of a lamb tree. Perfect. All right. Yes, that's great. <laughs> hey, chef. What do you do with the peppercorns? Um, we either saute them as whole branches, like like this, and drape over stuff, or I sit here and meticulously, no. well, I don't, you but don't. somebody meticulously <laughs> picks them off the vine <laughs> to garnish a lamb tureen right yeah. now. Have you tried one? $3. Uh -huh. It's great with pork. Yeah, I do pork. Some, um... Well, they're really tart, too, like there's like a, like so a we acid. Use them, like right now, I'm just doing uh, lamb liver tureen, yeah. uh -huh. lamb liver tureen with mint, and then fresh peppercorns, and then, um, then we made a Chianti jelly. Uh, so it's like, you know, ate his liver with nice fava beans and Chianti, <laughs> so but instead I'm messing around and doing nice. these. Oh, that's cool. A lot of people in the world go to church on Sundays. I don't, uh, this is it for me. I come here with my family, I can shop with my son, I shop with my wife, I just try to catch each other up, and I think that's what's really important. Let's go pick some more radishes, get six more, because we have a lot of people. And nothing's ever solid till the moment. And I think that's what makes cooking great, is that being a cook, it's very fluid and it has, it, it changes within the moment, whether it's seasoning, whether it's, I don't like that ingredient and I pull it out and take it away and put, or put something else in. That's what makes cooking great. It's all about serving the best, never serving shit. The treens today are for tomorrow. So I've got Stefan coming over, so Easton's soccer buddies, and we'll be able to try them tomorrow. So for the tureen, I'll grind all my offal, which will be the trimmed heart, the two kidneys, the liver, and the spleen. Once those are all ground, put them in a Robocoo and blend them with all my spicing agent, seasoned salt and pepper. There we go. And then I'll bake both the tureens at the same time. One in the oven will be in a crust, the other will be in a water bath. Now I've got my livery chocolate pudding mix. In goes bacon. I'm putting the familiar with the unfamiliar. I'm putting bacon with a bunch of offal. I'm gonna trim off these little edges here. A little bit long for me. Pop it out the air bubbles. One down. You know, pork was originally, it wasn't just about the meat. Certain hogs were just raised for their fat. And I think that's why a lot of the heritage breeds were disbanded over the years. You have Gloucestershire Old Spot, you have Red Waddles, you have Tamworths, you have Large Blacks, you have Berkshires. All these were raised for different reasons. Like Tamworths known for making the pork belly for bacon. But the Gloucestershire Old Spot was strictly raised for its fat. That's what's pretty amazing about these different pigs, is that they all can lend an, uh, a really beautiful bit of heritage to what people are eating. This is gonna be a red waddle tureen all the way through. Beautiful. The toasted hazelnuts are in here. It's a nice mix of both coarse and, and medium fat, lean meat mix. I'm gonna start adding in my peppercorns. So what I need to do is make a little hole in the top. I always like to make a chimney. Chimney allows the uh, steam to exit from this little pie that we'll make. Looks like grandma's meatloaf. Now I'm gonna start building her together. Got my little chimney, I'm gonna make an indent, put that in. Oh, look at that, a little scarf, special here. By baking it on a, uh, a tray that exudes liquid, I'm gonna catch it. So I'm gonna put in this one first, where'll she go? Abilardo, where's that agua for me? Thank you. 
So you need to cook in a water bath. Water bath is a gentle heat. It allows everything to cook evenly without being aggressive. It's gonna go in on the bottom. I'm gonna cook them both to uh, 134. The meat to 134, the liver one, I'll cook to about 130. There's gonna be a carryover about uh, 15 degrees, one degree for every 15 minutes as it sits and rests. So it'll be nice and perfect. This is the Ophaltrine here. I just pull on this, I'm gonna tip her over. There we go. So there's that bacon, really thin. Hazel, you smell that, don't you, girl? Wanna licky? Here, licky, licky. Good girl. We'll put out radishes and some uh, butter with the tureen and, and I'll do some bread. Oh wow, this one came out great, man. Maybe we put some mustard on and then, and then I'll throw some radishes to it and then we'll be good, eh? This is gonna be really delicate to get out. It takes a very steady hand. Oh, here she comes, here she comes. Come on, baby. T, I need you right now. I need you to hold this tureen mold. Mold them back up, back up. Pull, pull away. Oh yeah, there we go. That looks gorgeous. Pistachios, the fresh peppercorns. Mm. So all that work that went into the trains yesterday comes out perfect. Right. Good. 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 Ultimately what I'm trying to do here is just not do anything new. I'm just reintroducing the old, you know, stuff that's just been pushed to the side for many, many years. And I mean, I'll be the first person to say I'm not inventing anything. I'm just trying to follow my belief that you should use everything and eat everything and feed people in a beautiful way. How was it? We're great. Subscribe to Hungry and feed your food obsession.